Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our blind playthrough on Insane Difficulty. It's time to jump into Act 3 Chapter 5 and we got pretty de de decent gear. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We are stacked and the only uh, department where we could use a bit more are helmets. But apparently those are difficult to get by. Be it as it may, the outsider is uh, what we need to do. Cryogenic grenade is ready, but Ukon's exact whereabouts are still unknown. Gabe formulates a plan to root out his secret base. And that sounds like a good idea. Why exactly? What, 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 what? Two units maximum and it needs to be Gabe and Sid. Mm. Well, I would have selected a different two unit setup, but if it needs to be Gabe and Sid, then it is Gabe and Sid. Let's deploy and go. Careful. Stare at that any harder, you'll set it on fire. Don't bother. Hasn't moved in two hours. I think I got it. These are all the places Ukon's attacked. What's the pattern? We've covered this. It's random. Where he's hit is random. What about where he hasn't? Scenic province. We've been through it. Pristine medical facilities. They should have what Ukon wants, but he isn't touching them. It's the one place he doesn't want to leave for Zenix big. It'll take some looking. He's there. I know it. Oh boy. Good deduction skills. I like it. Gave us the brain. So much for Ukon keeping a low profile in Zenix. Intel just came in on a hidden torture camp. We're gonna free his prisoners and see if we can't sniff out his base. Good, time to do a two-man mission. Those, funnily enough, were our first gears. And having a tank okay. in the healer is great, in. but having another tank clues. here Canisters might not be so good. Anything. Don't get excited now. Grubs have torture camps all over. Doesn't mean Ukon's base is down the street. Call it intuition. All right, got an epic case here. Got an epic case uh, right there. And a scout pod. Maybe the scout can help us with dealing enough damage. Another epic case. And a vanguard. Yeah, vanguard and scout aren't exactly the two that I was hoping for. Worth the effort. Good. Received an epic case. That's yep. good. Fully moving in. So far we haven't even triggered anything. Might as well start with that aura. Nah, let's start with that aura. Good work, Jack. Keeping watch. Good, we want to get plus one soldier as fast as possible. Safety's off. On route. Sid begins to move in. He's the tank at the end of the day. Focus guard spotted. Light him up. Yes. Good. We're carefully moving up. And assist, Jack. Jack is just standing Stay there for trouble, now. Jack. On it. Good, we're overwatching. The disciples aren't that difficult to to fight. We should be fine for now. Let's mess 
them up. What? Hmm, okay, how do we do okay, that? Now. Chainsaw would be fantastic, but unfortunately not what I'm looking for. Well, this might turn out to to be interrupted, so up, let's interrupt him first. Hot potato, there we go. Full interruption. Got your back, soldier. Good, a couple of extra okay. actions. Hmm. Moving. Bending a grenade. And moving up. Next turn we can give it a go. Okay. Scanning now. Smoke over here. That's it, Jack. Jack also begins to put more auras up, Appreciate and it, we're hiding. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Here comes the shit show. Well, that didn't work exactly as I hoped it would. Let's do it. Unfortunately, they are just trying to hold the line. Which is understandable because we are on a timer, they are not. Appreciate it, Jack. Wow. Oh boy, are you kidding me? We can't breach that. Good, so how do we do it? These guys are cowards to just stand there and wait. 12 turns, still okay. I've got overwatch. Overwatching here. We're going to hide. Support on hand. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Problem is our hit chance is so low. Scanning now. That it's more becoming an overwatch slugfest. I can promise you next turn Brace we're going yourself. to go in. Been doing this a long time. <laughs> Walk right into it. That didn't even hurt him. Okay, I can see how it is. Okay. On my way. Very nice. Mess here. Bagged and tagged. Let's open this up. Unfortunately, we will be poisoned. Hey. There's almost no way around that. Okay. I've 
got you. Danger's still close. Can you fight? I... Yeah. I can fight. Jack moves up. And that should give everybody plus one AP. Very good. Indeed it does. Got your back, soldier. Acknowledged. Good. What are we dealing with? Uh, no, 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 we're not, we're not going uh, to move too close to that, how about here, oh, that's still a problem, I see how it is, well, sounds strange, but believe it or not, uh, this here will not hurt, not for a lot. But this, on the other hand, Let's dance. that hurts quite a bit. Contact. Good, we're fully poisoned for the next two turns. And that means all we do is try to try to somehow be useful and move to the other side. I can already foresee that there will be a drop in the middle. The line, Once you've played people. enough missions, they become quite predictable. Grubs didn't like that. More coming. Remember, the clock's ticking on those prisoners. I am very much remembering that. Moving up, shotgun, really low chance to hit, not good. I'm ready. Us being poisoned Moving here up. certainly sucks quite a bit. This is in anticipation that we're not going to get all of them down. Jack moves up and Jack hides. Later, Jack. We could go for lock and load. Because this, quite frankly, is embarrassing. Come on. Lock and load will this. at least counteract a bit of uh, that minus damage. Thinning them out. Good. We can definitely put that zone up here. Acknowledged. Those guys don't have any status effects, so might not even try. Zealoth is a problem. The Grenadier is another problem. On it. Good. We should be fine for this turn, though. Just need to wait out the this unfortunate poisoning. Down to one shot. Good, this here is a problem. 
grenadier needs to die. Time to get to work. Keep it up, Jack. Good work, Jack. Jack's cloaked. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we want to make sure that we're good. I got shit to do. That we're surviving that turn. Oh, what? Oh, I should have searched myself. Why? Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Didn't know how the skill worked. I thought we would just just use it. That is not that was not a good idea. hit and back into cloaking mode all right wrong frag fantastic 100% crit chance thanks to flatliner Potentially move up and try to hit us. Let's make sure that he's not going for gate. The 75% damage reduction should help us. Fair enough. Got your back, soldier. Here. <laughs> All right, everybody reloads. On standby. Barely were, were not in range for the reload. That is unfortunate. Ammo's going dry. Okay, almost. Oh, gosh, we need to reload again. Well, I wish that reload would have hit everybody. Textbook work. I'm not sure if that was textbook work. I wouldn't pat ourselves on the back yet. Nice work, Jack. We gotta get that and to the pot. A turns should be doable. Keeping watch. Got locust activity. The scout, unfortunately, is not having any skill points allocated. Apparently, like he has cloak, and that's about it. That's the most basic scout that you could have.
Okay, so far so good. Jake's just making What's himself next? invisible. Cloak is one more turn. Got a pod in visual range. Good, we're safe over there. eventually going to move in just need some more time for they never learn ah, see the interruption that is exactly why that interrupt mod is so incredibly helpful time's draining people let's move up here yep I'm ready couple of things number one scout Little needs more agency you. and more damage of course number two can we interrupt one of those overwatch shots 50 50 looks good to me I'd like that one back Alright, Jack. We're using this. Good assist, Jack. Moving up and hiding. See ya, Jack. Very good. They are now clustered up, which is what I was hoping for. eliminated 35% 180 uh, that is just not ca uh, cutting it unfortunate we got two more turns now uh, two more action points and I think we're just overwatching Problem solved. Could have seen you with no good eyes. Down to 100 hit points. Ah, uh, this one worked much better than our breach beforehand. Time to get to work. Hasn't there been another crate around here? Or did I did I misremember that? We started here, went over, took a crate, took a second crate. I think that was the third crate already. Okay, we could theoretically go down there. Okay, now. In transit. Diaz moves up. 
Got eyes on the target. What? Down and out. Good. We can. Since uh, since that one fallen disco is not dead yet, we can. Not Never mind. Time left to lose here, people. I was hoping to wait Keep it up. and let that um, let that guy survive one more round, so that we can get into on, position because move. there will be one more spawn. Now let's get you both out of here. Head for the APC. Exactly right there, and somewhere around here will be another spawn. Changing position. Jack moves up. Uses another nice aura. I owe you one, Jack. Later, Jack. On it. All right. Overwatching as good as we can. At the same time, okay. we're just trying to get out of here. Okay, well, it is up. Lock and load. Fifty percent damage bonus. Moving up further. And over here. And now Jack is going to give out some extra AP. And I'll just wait with the other stuff for now. Hand over actions. Right, let's do this. And whilst we're at it, let's give him teamwork. So I have the feeling that we're going to get some actions back. Reporting. Ah, that's not good. Moving up here, shotgun, least chance of hitting, and he's ready to be killed. Out of commission. There we go, teamwork provided an extra action. extra actions Your right there talent. oh well only one because it's kept at two extra actions and I'm ready he is fires a high-powered shot nice critical hit he is 
problem. Which shows you, you don't necessarily need damage dealers. Of course, they can do the job better. There is no question about it. But I could also see a world where you do have a few, a few more specialists. And although the whole action economy manipulation seems seems like a no-brainer in terms of picking it, maybe I was wrong to assume that you cannot skill them in in a DPS way. Hey, the grubs who took you, did they have a base nearby? It's important. They. Look, can we just leave? Of course. We've got food and beds for you both back at our convoy. Okay, as I, as I was about to say, maybe the damage setup isn't as bad as I was uh, thinking. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I killed the uh, failed the optional objective. That's still fine. I think there was... No legendary on it. And at this point, unless we get helmets, I think we're almost maxed out in most of the stuff. Girl knows something. She's about as chatty as a brick wall. Want me to talk to her? Yeah. Mind if I join you? It's your camp. Can't imagine what you've been through. Save the pity for someone who wants it. <sighs> Look, you want to leave? No one's stopping you. Hmm? If not, talk to us. What happened to you? We were living in some old lab. My father's a scientist, or was. A few weeks ago, I went out for supplies. When I came back, that thing was there, setting up shop. Ukon. I don't know why he didn't just kill me, but what he did to my father, that'll stay with me until the day I die. I'm sorry. That information isn't a gift. You're gonna help me kill Ukan. Help you kill him? <laughs> What's your name? My name is You're gonna help me kill Ukan. I think I can make that happen. Awfully long name, though. Is there anything I can call you for short? Reina. Guess she likes your motor pool. She knows where he is. It's time we ended this. Okay, so that might be another storyline character. Reina Torres, level six. Interesting. Hair trigger. Um, focus and oh, nice. We got plus seven evasion and optics. That's great. Finally, uh, an epic helmet. Yeah, I knew it. 
I knew it. She was she was giving me the vibes of of a storyline character, right? Uh, too bad. That means Quincy Tang Allison, unless one of the storyline characters is unavailable, would need to stay back for now. That sucks. Armor. Blast zone. Then we got... Grenadier over here. Are you kidding me? She has a civilian jacket and that cannot exclusively be swapped. Okay, I was about to say, what are you even talking about? There you go. Good. So we're looking at utility belt over here. It sucks to have all of the great gear of uh, Marcella eventually move to her. It's a bit of a disappointment, but okay. Thirty damage, one ammunition. Yes, please. Accuracy bonus. Oh, absolutely. Yes, please. And that extra damage with the weapon. That's also good. Good. Well. She now got some really decent equipment. There we go. And we got a full skill tree. And I think we're going to go into the whole demolition expert again. She's level 6. So, sprint straight up good. Yes. Movement rate when hidden is good. The free cloak was also great. But for now, we're moving to Proximity Mine. Yes, please. When this unit kills an enemy with uh, a shot, everything is reduced by one as a cooldown. That's good. I like the extended cloak as well. It's not bad. Demolition Expert, however, is fantastic. So now we still got four points available that could be blood rush into anticipation into sprint two. Yeah, I think we're better off skilling her similar to um, to Marcella. The extended cloak was incredibly helpful. That cloak is also not bad. I mean, with quick cloak and free cloak, you almost cloak the entire time. It's four turns, three turns, almost the entire time. Free cloak is good for obvious reasons because you can you can uh, just use that uh, that cloak whenever you want without jeopardizing your uh, action economy. It gives you a lot of momentum. The blood rush wasn't bad either. 
sprint overall was just really good. So I'm wondering what we're going to do with the remaining three points. That quick cloak, not bad. This one is also decent. Double shot is would be nice uh, in terms of just reducing, uh, killing uh, an enemy and reducing the frag grenade. So we could do that and that. The regeneration is not so important. I still like the finisher, but it's very unlikely that we're going to go all the way down to escapist. So I think for level 6, what we're going to do is... The anticipation 1 isn't bad either. Just shifts uh, um, an action point to the next turn. And can be useful occasionally. I have not yet seen a lot of holes pe uh, popping up lately. But that skill is quite good, if there would be one. I think what we're going to do is passive skill here, passive skill here, and passive skill here. That's not bad for now. We can always reskill. Uh, we got plenty of reskill tokens. And uh, she is ready to rumble. Focus, start of the turn, Yuen gets 40% critical. Yeah, we already got that one. 50% crit damage, thank you. That is fantastic. Accuracy bonus. And we got damage here. Good, Sit on the other hand. We can take an extra hair trigger, which is better than the one that we currently have. Flatliner is good. Anticipation was pretty damn good, right? Yeah, damage reduction. And the disrupt. Yeah, he is well equipped. Finally, Quincy, our heavy. Has the option for hair trigger. Would reduce our ammunition down to five but it the 15 percent is really decent for the normal shots that he's taken hmm difficult decision i like the seven ammunition because it does not require you to reload a lot and he takes a lot of shots when in overwatch but five is also good and that hair trigger will help us eventually i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure if he will see a lot of action now since we do have four characters four storyline characters or heroes here but who knows i mean i still absolutely like quincy great character let's take a look at the next uh, mission well as i was saying that we're eventually getting uh, new missions in Cool, so boomers get 50% attack range. That is nasty. Two units maximum. Um, two units maximum, that seems like we're going to rescue two other uh, units. Cool. Well, we we got some optionality here. We're definitely going to start with the main team. But since this here requires two units maximum, that could be Rhea plus someone else. And I can still use Quincy on this mo uh, mission here. Do we have a mission where we need to defend? 
I think this year is a defend mission. I think this year is a defense mission. This year looks like a capturing mission. It's an explosion mission. And I have no idea what that symbol here means. Oh, that, that's one of the missions where we are getting bombed by the locusts again. Okay, cool. Good. Well, Operation Broken, uh, Broken Hawk is the next one. And I will still need to figure out a way how to do a great team composition. With Rhea joining us, that definitely changed the situation a bit. I'm not opposed to this type of setup, but I like the heavies. And it is a shame to see that there is no hero, apparently no hero heavy. But it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.